In Australia, there's one thing we hate more than spiders in your shoes and snakes up your ass. And that is refusing to take part in a great Australian tradition. And that is extreme alcoholism. If you don't drink, then you're not a friend of mine. But another thing we also hate is The Project, the worst show on TV. It's hosted by a bloke who's about as enjoyable as a safety pin in your foreskin. This guy. Waleed Ali. This has to be one of the most progressive television shows in Australia today, and the ratings really reflect that, because everyone hates it. In 2022, it received about 200,000 viewers a night. That's on a national TV station where people are basically forced to watch it if they still watch normal TV. And in 2023, they've lost a third of that audience, so they're doing well. Before I go any further, ladies and gentlemen, you see this great t-shirt, push, pull, sink, tins. It's all from the Average Man series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel. There's a few episodes out right now. It's all about getting blokes into the gym and still allowing them to sink as much piss as they want, all right? Go and check them out. But also, if you want this beautiful t-shirt, it's available on averageman.com. There is the link, and the link is also down below. Go and grab it. There's not too many left. I believe I've made it very clear that the project sucks balls. Now, this show should be cancelled because of its ratings, but it's not. It's been cancelled for a very different reason. Reason. A reason where I feel like I need to step in and say something. People all over the country are demanding apologies and they're demanding action and cancellation all over a joke that was told on the show. Let me just say this. I am a free speech absolutist. I think it is so important that people are able to speak their mind. But before anything else, that's number one. Especially when it comes to comedy. The fact that some people say that some jokes aren't funny even though people laugh at them is hilarious, alright? Any joke can be funny. That's, all, that's the end of it. End of the discussion. If you hear something that you don't like and you say that's not funny, well, if people are laughing, you're wrong. You should be able to joke about every person on this earth regardless of the colour of their skin, their religion or disability, anything. You should be able to joke about. All that matters is that it's a joke. Is the intention there to make people laugh? Not to hurt anyone. And if you have all that information on board and you still get offended, angry and sad, then that's on you, bro. Chill out. So, what was the joke that everyone's freaking out about? It's this one. I think it's hilarious when someone messages me and says, you have to accept Jesus' love or you will burn in hell because I love Jesus. I love any man who can get nailed for three days straight and come back for more. <laughs> <laughs> that is Ruben K, a comedian telling a joke. And there's lots of people freaking out, a lot of high profile people freaking out about that. But let me ask you this, if you are very, very offended, did it hurt you? Are you in pain? Do you need an x-ray? Offensive jokes don't hurt anyone. They don't hurt you. You're fine. Everything's fine. We are just so desperate to be offended. It's it's madness. Like people will go out of their way to watch this and then be angry and then send angry messages. And beyond that, people have threatened to protest this joke. <laughs> what? I will say this to the outrage. I don't believe that this is probably an appropriate joke to have on TV at seven o'clock at night. When people are watching a news, well, a news program, the project is not a news program, it's shit. Uh, you know, people aren't expecting things like that, okay? I understand where people are coming from if they're mad about that. And also, it's not lost on me that obviously Ruben is part of the LGBT community, either that or he's on some weird acid trip at the moment. Here's the thing, you can't make jokes about the LGBTQ plus community without receiving enormous backlash like Dave Chappelle did from the LGBTQIA plus community. But should you be able to make jokes about religions? The answer is you should be able to make jokes about both. But if you can't make jokes about one or you can't make jokes about the other, then it just doesn't work. And this is why anyone who defends comedy always says, either everything's okay or nothing's okay. We have to allow everything. I really do believe you should be able to make fun of everyone. I think Ruben's joke is fine, there's nothing wrong with it. And I think if I was to make a joke about gay people, I think that's fine and there's nothing wrong with it. Like for example, um, there's, there's only a slight difference between uh, heterosexual couples in their marriage ceremony and gay people. It's not till death do we part in gay couples, it's till AIDS do we part. Pretty fucked up. <laughs> the point of saying that is that I would be attacked by LGBTQ plus people because of saying that joke. But they were probably the ones that thought the Jesus joke was hilarious. 
Right? This is the hypocrisy of humour. People might say, if you're making jokes about gay people, trans people, you're punching down. This punching down shit is garbage. It's bullshit. It is nothing. Punch anywhere in comedy. The only thing that matters is that people laugh. If they're not laughing, then you're not doing it right. But if they are laughing, keep going. And if anyone tells you to stop, tell them to fuck off. Doesn't matter if it's sexist, if it's racist, if it's anything. What matters is intentions. If you're intending to make people laugh, then it doesn't matter. Racism is about hate. There's no hate in laughter. It's fucking madness. The cancel army came in thick and fast for old Reuben and the project was forced to make a very swift apology, even though they all laughed at it. <laughs> so obviously this apology means nothing. During an interview last night, our guest told a joke which we know was deeply and needlessly offensive to many of you. We want to acknowledge the particular offence and hurt that that caused our Muslim, but especially our Christian viewers. We wouldn't knowingly broadcast it, of course. We acknowledge the offence that it caused, but more than that, we're sorry. This apology is hilarious. It doesn't mean anything. All of these apologies never mean anything. Look at the comparison between these people a night apart. Laughing and then being serious about an apology. They don't mean it. So why do you demand it? There was heaps of TikToks about this. So many people so angry all over Instagram, on YouTube. And this lady even made it about someone else. During an interview last night, our guest told a joke which we know was deeply and needlessly. Imagine if major media news outlets in Australia, like The Project, put even 1% of the energy that they put into issuing that apology for Reuben Kay's joke into calling out homophobic, transphobic material. Just last month, the comedian Isaac Butterfield declared that he had been cancelled because me? the racist dog shit jokes that he uploaded to TikTok racist dog got shit. taken down and there were some people on Twitter that were calling him out for being... That lady, Catherine Allen, is also a comedian. She claims she's a comedian. She's at the Melbourne Comedy Festival, I think. Anyway, fuck off, Catherine. Uh, it just goes to show that you can be a comedian just by calling yourself a comedian. Well done, Catherine. I'm sure you're killing it. There were thousands of angry tweets. There were thousands of angry TikToks. But I just can't get past the fact that it was a joke. And I know it was early at night. And I know you can't make jokes about Ruben's community like he made jokes about your community. But comedy's comedy, mate. And I will defend it. I have to defend it. That's the point of being a comedian. You should defend other comedians for doing the same thing. Fucking there's a note for you, Catherine. It is important to make everyone a worthy target when it comes to comedy. Because comedy should, and always has been, and should always be, uncancelable. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Be Dick Stinks. Go and get this t-shirt on averageman.com. And I'll see you next week. Well, not next week. Probably tomorrow for another video. Wow. Aren't I incredible? Bye.